I'm Wendy Sheridan. Thank you, Wendy. 58 degrees right now and a great uh, time for us to kind of roll up our sleeves and deliver the best of the, jo- the, the jokes. Well, the somewhat funny things that uh, that happen on Hump Day humor. Hey, and I'm Dave, ca- if you don't mind, I'd like to start with uh, uh, in, in yeah. light of the uh, of the uh, debate last night and the yeah. uh, the election season that's uh, driving us all nuts. Just a couple of uh, politics jokes, okay? Oh, good. Political what's the jokes. definition? What's the definition of politics? I don't know. Poly meaning many. Yeah. And ticks meaning blood sucking parasites. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. That's funny. But that's U.S. Bad. politics is a lot like square dancing. Yeah. Move to the right, take one step back. Move to the left, take one step forward. Repeat. <laughs> there you go. And then one more. Pol- uh, politics is like driving. Like no ma- driving. Okay. Yeah, no matter which lane you're in, anyone moving faster than you is a maniac, and anyone going slower than you is a moron. <laughs> that's good. Hey, speaking of driving, I've got a, and I like those. Thank you so much. I've got a joke about driving, and this one comes from my friend Mary. A young boy had just gotten his driver's permit. He asked his father, who was a minister, if they could discuss his use of the family car. His father said to him, I'll make a deal with you. You bring your grades up, study your Bible a little, and get your hair cut, then we could talk about it. A month later, the boy came back and again asked his father if they could discuss his use of the car. His father said, son, I'm really proud of you. You brought your grades up, you studied your Bible diligently, but you didn't get your hair cut. The young man waited a moment and replied, you know, Dad, I've been thinking about that. You know, Samson had long hair, Moses had long hair, Noah had long hair, even Jesus had long hair. His ref- and his father replied, yes, son. And they all walked everywhere they went. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Mary. Appreciate that one. Uh, Got to love that. How about this one? I'm terrified of elevators, and I'm taking steps to avoid them. <laughs> Research shows that six out of seven dwarves aren't happy. <laughs> Research shows that, you know, take, give, give that one a second to germinate. Uh, research shows six out of seven dwarves on, on one is happy. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, I, I, got, it, I, I got some more to go, but uh, what you got up? What you got next, Mr. Finn? Well, uh, working in an unemployment office, it's got to be a tense job knowing that if you get fired, you still have to come in the next day. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Speaking of jobs, uh, there's a job interview. The interviewer says, so where do you see yourself in five years? And the applicant replies, I'd say my biggest weakness is listening. (laughs) I don't watch a lot of football, so I don't know who Taylor Swift is, but he sounds uh, awful fast. (laughs) Taylor Swift, yeah. Taylor Swift. Before the crowbar was invented, crows had to drink at home. (laughs) Now, now think about it. Well, to be frank, I'd have to change my name. Okay, (laughs) now, here's one, and I want you guys to think about this one. This one is almost a multiple-choice one. Why blame others? What, what do you think is the right answer here? Why blame others for the road you're on? Why blame others for the road you're on? It's your own, and I'm going to give you three options for what you think the right answer is. Okay. Why blame others for the road you're on? It's your own A, gravel, B, cement, C, asphalt. <laughs> <laughs> I know what? where I want to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way I can figure out that I could tell that joke. I yeah. think it's funny, yeah. but I um, yeah. wanted to be careful about how I presented it. I've got Why my answer. Chick- I'm not going to say it out loud. <laughs> yeah. Why does a chicken coop have two doors? Why does a chicken coop have two doors? I don't know. Because if it had four doors, it would be a chicken sedan. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there you go. All right. All right let's... Why blame others for the road? Okay, very good. There you go. I, I got a couple for you. How to frighten the new generation or the younger generation, put them in a room with a rotary phone, an analog watch, a TV with no remote, and then leave directions on how to use in cursive. <laughs> there you go. I like that. Been feeling a little moody and run down lately, so I looked up my symptoms. It's adulthood. I have <laughs> adulthood. <laughs> I've got one more from Mary real quick. A devoted wife had spent her lifetime taking care of her husband. Now he had been slipping in and out of a coma for several months, yet she stayed faithfully by his side every single day. When he came to his senses, he motioned for her to come near him. As she sat by him, he said very dearly, You know what? You've been with me through all the bad times. When I got fired, you were there to support me. When my business failed, you were right there. When I got shot, you were by my side. When we lost the house, you gave me great support. When my health started failing, you were still by my side. You know what? What, dear? She asked gently. I think you bring me bad luck. 
<laughs> Never mind. All That's right. Good. I like it. I think it's funny. Yeah. I like it. When I, I like was it. shot, you were there. When I'm, yeah. When I lost a bit. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, cable repairman stopped me on the street uh, the other day and asked me what time it was. Yeah. Uh, and I said uh, somewhere between 8 a.m. and 1 p.m. <laughs> Repair. That's good. Yeah. That's funny. I like that. It's funny and true. Yeah. So if dentists make their money off people with bad teeth. Why should I trust a toothpaste that 9 out of 10 dentists recommend? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I just don't know. But I don't know. You you got a closer for us, Dave? I know. Just a reminder. Again, roads are either made out of gravel, cement, or asphalt. (laughs) That's it. I don't remember that. (laughs) Yep. And don't blame others for the one that you're on. There you go. (laughs) All right. We'll be right back uh, and clean this mess up in just a moment here on Morning Offering with Ron and Dave.